welcome back guys um, in the last video we created this um, app buyer with an icon button um, a typography with text material UI and then we added two buttons at the other side and an icon and in this video I'm gonna be making this um, drawer work so I'm going to be using a um, material UI drawer for that so let's go to our code in the last video, we wrote this code for that app bar. So um, I've created um, a folder called component and a JS file called app bar. Um, it's a functional component too. So let's just go ahead and um, cut this app bar and move it to the navbar.js. Let's format that. Okay, then we need to take out the um, imports too. Then let's Drop them here. Okay, the, okay, we can save this. They okay, have to import the navbar.js. So we just go ahead and import navbar from then the same okay components components slash navbar the j oh, navbar. Then okay, we can use this here. I say navbar. And we want some JS file. Okay, so let's save that. Okay, as you can see, um, it still works. Everything is intact. So let's start making our um our drawer. So I have to import drawer for material UI core. So we just add it to this object here. Drawer. Then this is going to enable us to make um, a drawer for that. So we just go below this. I'll just add it to them with this our drawer okay then the draw takes um some pro across i'll be using so first of all i'm going to be using um the anchor so the anchor um tells it like which side it should open from is from the top from the bottom from the left as you can see it here bottom left right top so for now let us leave it at left because that's where our button is to open the drawer then it takes out that prop of open, which is going to be a, a boolean in that pro of false. So right now I'm just going to leave it as false. Um really false. Um and let's just call it a variable, I think. Let us say open. We create that later. Then we say on close. Then let's do um undo and the drawer. Then we got we create this function soon. Okay, so let's go up here. Then we need to import um new states <laughs> for states because we're in a functional component. We don't have access to um to the states. So actually, um, import new states from React. Then we can okay. So open. Says open. Let's make it our caps. Okay, then we can say use states. And I'm going to set it to false as a default. So now I'm setting this open to open, which right now open is false. So that means the app bar is going to be closed because it's false. But if it's true, then it's going to be opened. So let's create this function um, on um, and the drawer. Let's just go, go up here and create it. Okay. Let's just put that thing. Okay, so what we want to do here is set this open to true, right? So let's just use set um, set open. Then I'm going to set it to true. So that means once this a function kicks in, it's going to set set open to true. So what we want to do, um, I think, let us put this to not open. So what that's going to do is that now on close I'm just going to put not open. So like when it's opened, then open is false. And when it's closed, there's going to be I mean like when it's opened, it's going to be true. Then on close is going to make it to be false, which is going to close the other. So let's just go ahead and um give this 
um icon button okay this one here and um, unclick so we give it an handle drawer um, and the last thing we want to do is um like put something here let's say we want the um, h3 this is a drawer okay so let's see okay anchors left open this is false right now on close okay so let's run this and see then we can test this thing and it's not really closing right now let us see on close open okay let us make this a, um, a function here can make this a function which is an arrow function and, and then we can set open to false right here instead of doing not open i don't know then let's go back Okay, and this should work perfectly fine without any misgiving. Okay, then we can open it and then we can close. Right, it's working fine. Okay, and that's nice. So and we can um we can actually um make the width. And like the width right now is not really good for a, for a draw, so we can increase the width. So let's just give this a, a div a div container here. Um okay. Can give that div. Then let us guide and close it here. Okay, so we can style this. Let's say M height. M height is going to take a m hundred percent. No, let's give it percent. Yeah. and then the width let's give it um 250 but as you can see it it's a much nicer right now so let's go to the mo uh, mobile view you can inspect this and use the mobile view okay right now we have a mobile view let's... so you can see this and it still works perfectly fine so um the what I actually want to do before we um finish this video is I um, want to make this button here and a drawer. So when you click on this icon button, it's going to bring up a drawer um, at the bottom of the screen which says login and sign up. But still we still have this drawer here. So we're having two drawers. This one is for the menu and this other one is for, for the login and sign up. So let's see how gonna do that. So lastly we want to um Make another state console name it um, icon um, anchor then we can set anchor then this state okay let's give it left for now okay so the um, the anchor down here and um, can either it can be anything can be left right top and bottom so right now is left that I, we can drag our stuff from the left. So what we want to do is um um and this icon button here. Let's give it an unclick. So let's say um undo undo account. So we create the function right now. So const and the account right let's do that okay then we want to set open to true but one more thing we want to set our anchor we want to set it to bottom because when we click on this button on the my account button it's going to bring up a draft on the bottom so the anchor is going to be set to bottom so for this one here we, we change it we set our anchor so this one is going to be left still okay so let's see what else are we going to do mm, let's see okay we can remove this because it's going to miss we can remove this width 
okay but we can put a pad in actually that's going to make everything look well let's just say um 20 pixel let's clean this up now for the anchor we're not going to put left here we just call anchor which is the state and for the open open cancel main and open close set close cancel main this okay so what we want to do now is to just use an if statement inside here so we just say um anchor that if anchor equals to let's say right no left they want to do something right so let's let us make a, a little div here it's going to manage everything that's a div okay then let's type in an h5 then we say this this is the left drawer okay then else let's make another div then we can start at um, h5 for now just gonna say this is the bottom drawer okay so um, this will work if you start so what is does do that is getting anchor which is the current state so if anchor it, um, is left then it's going to give us this this is the left anchor i mean this is the left drawer else she give us the bottom drawer okay so let's run this and open there's no error okay now it's loaded so let's check this out now this is the left drawer and that works perfectly fine so let's check this an icon here as you can see we have a a bottom drawer which says this is the bottom drawer well that's cool now so let's um, add um, two buttons here which um say login and sign up okay so and um, we talked on buttons some few tutorial back so we can also do that easily so let us make button with the variant i think um let's use um, a contain a contain button to be to be nice for that background so let's give it um, a color of primary okay so let's just say login um let's give the border radius just make it look um okay a border radius just make it look nice let's say we want 10 and they want another button let us copy this and then paste it below and they want another button or we say sign up okay so let's save this and see okay okay i can we have two buttons here but they're not really visible so let's just I think the problem really is because this is meant to be contained, not container. So let's just save that and else is going to be fine. Okay, so you can check it now. Yeah, as you can see, um, we have two buttons here. So this is just how to um create drawers in uh, with material UI. We have our left and it's still working, which is very nice. Thanks for watching this video. You can like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you next time. Bye.